Hey folks, tonight I'm doing something a little bit different. I just had to make a quick little reaction video to um I watch um Patrick Bet David's um um podcast, which I watch, you know, frequently, you know what I'm saying? They have some pretty, you know, challenging um um topics and subjects. And I mean it's usually I usually, you know, can bear pretty much whatever I hear, even though it's pretty much almost an always, you know, stream right leaning uh conversation, but you know, you know, myself, I tend to, I tend to gravitate more towards the center on, on most issues, but his, his topic today, he had, um, a guy on there named Dennis Prager. Um, and I could, you know, most of what he was saying, you know, I can bob along with a little bit, you know, a little, little, a little cringy, a little, you know, but you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a, I'm a strong man, you know, I'm pretty much, you know, I can tolerate a whole lot of things, but what I can't tolerate and can't continue to tolerate is the level of ignorance around systemic racism and, you know, you know, you know, being a black American being called a victim. First of all, I don't feel like a victim. I've never been a victim. And as a black American, you know, slavery was real. It was horrible, you know, and I don't I don't sit around complaining about any of the, you know, of the, of the, of the Holocaust or anything, because that's just not, you know, I won't make comment on that because that was a terrible, you know, time in history that had, you know, absolutely nothing to do with black Americans at all, except for the fact that Hitler actually came and learned about how slaves were treated in order to, in order to execute what he did as far as the Holocaust. But that's for another conversation, you know, but here's the reality to downplay and to, you know, to, to basically, basically, you know, underplay systemic racism and the black experience in America, you know, I can't tolerate that, you know, and Patrick, great show most of the time and everything, but I mean, this is, this is just something, you know, you need to get some control on the situation because here's the reality. You need to get a better black point of view because the reality of it is, is, you know, the people that you come on there with, you know, this far right leaning talk about, you know, racism is not real. And this, this got to go. It seriously has to go. And if you if 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 you really want to be credible, if you really want to be credible, if you really want to be taken serious, you know, it's time for you to start having people, you know, that actually, you know, drill down into what racism is, you know, what slavery was and who actually really have studied, you know, Abraham Lincoln, the Civil War and what it was fought for and why it was fought and the black American experience and stop having all these lollipop people on here talking about, you know, racism doesn't exist anymore. It definitely exists. And people talking ignorant like this and constantly downplaying and everything is only perpetuating. it. You know, I usually don't get upset like this. And I try my best not to get upset like this. But when you have ridiculous, 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 asinine individuals on here, you know, that 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 have zero idea, you know, and they talk from such a high lofty place, you know, talking about racism doesn't exist. You know, I deal with it every single day of my life. You know, every black person I know deals with it every single day of our lives to say, you know, and we're not victims. Trust me when I tell you not victims. But if you want to be considered credible. I invite you to have real black Americans on there and have real intelligent conversations around the black experience, slavery, systemic racism and everything and quit with the far right leaning. You know, here's the thing. I'm not I'm not the left agenda does not excite me as well. Trust me when I tell you. But this far right, you know, this 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 constant downplaying this this this, you know, racism doesn't exist ideology that's perpetuating has to stop. I give you more credit than this, Patrick. And to be honest with you, if you were sincere, you know what I'm saying, about really growing your show and really doing this thing about bringing opposing sides together and having intelligent conversations, you know, it's time for you to really address the situation. And when you have people on here like this, you know, you better be ready to have somebody that that really can speak to the situation, you know, whether whoever it may be, you know, you know, Dr. You know, um, Dyson or or or, you know, Somebody Lamont Hill, you know, um, you know, even Van Jones or something, you know, you know, but or get a Van Latham. I would love to see a Van Latham on there. But, you know, somebody who can really speak to, you know, or even, you know, Roland Martin. That would be hilarious. But anyway, 
you know, bring somebody on there who can really give an, a, you know, an, an intelligent opposing counter view to really educate you and everybody else that seems that I never see it really exercised on, on your podcast. And if you're genuine about, you know, bringing opposing sides together and really having a discourse, let's see you do it. So that's my reaction to today's, um, um, Patrick Beck David, um, podcast with, um, Dennis Prager. I really, really hope you hear this and I really hope you actually, you know, reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. God bless you.